What's up? My name is Marcos G, and I am a singer-songwriter out of Miami, Florida. Been making music for the last four years now, and I'm doing a little bit of English, Spanish, R&B, pop, whatever floats your boat. Maybe I've done it, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, I think that this is probably one of the nicest spots that I've visited and had like the privilege of being able to work and do videos and film content. And I think that a lot of people should come over here and visit because it's one in a million. A lot of people live here in Miami, but just don't know who to work with or where to work out of. And I think that opening the doors to that creative community helps people feel at ease, you know, and a bunch of people who are supportive and you know, you guys have been here and have been able to help us in everything. I think that it's really gonna help a lot of artists, musicians, that's a nice guitar too. The design. I filmed that. Is it on? Yeah. Oh, what's up? <laughs> that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay. You ready? Good. Do you know about your car's extended warranty? <laughs> I didn't expect it. I feel like on the outside looking in, you see a house and then you're kind of just like, oh shoot, it's a house, okay. And then you come inside and you're like, oh, it's not a house. It's like huge studio space and it's got different rooms. And I think that that's just half of it. I think the other half is like who you guys are as the people who are, have been helping us, you know, accomplish everything that we've been trying to do today. And I think that it just made our lives a lot easier. Taking When I first started making music, I was kind of like shipped off to like working with like LA and New York people. And I think that only until recently do I find myself working out of here. But I think that it's very, like Latin culture just lends itself to be very like family oriented and people just want to work and collaborate. And I think that that's what makes you want to be here and work out of Miami. Yeah, we hear about these bedroom artists and they're so successful. But there's a lot of bedroom artists who maybe the music didn't make it out of their bedroom because they got so discouraged and there was not any of that support outside of their household. So to have a studio like this who's opening their doors and letting people come in and use their equipment and, and you guys on deck and, and helping them grow, I think that it's only going to make the Miami scene or just the scene in general be able to express themselves and be open to trying new things. Did you make this? Your gaki? Yeah. No. Okay. If you produced it. No. Desafortunadamente no. That's a goose track. Mm -hmm. Who's produced that one? No, you don't Yeah, it's still doing it on these keys. <laughs> what? I just played a bunch of notes right there yeah. and you didn't hear them. Nothing came out. Bro, that was crazy. When you're in a space that you feel comfortable, you change the way that you kind of act and the way that you react and the way that you sing. You know, you feel a lot more confident because everyone and, and everything around you is just is inviting and welcoming. And I think that that was one of the things that I found like comforting being here. Overall, I'm just trying to have like, kind of like a soundtrack to a good time. If you listen to my music, I'm not really, not even not really, I'm not like vulgar, I'm not like a, a song that you know, oh, we gotta turn off, the kids are here. Like, it's just music that you can put on and have a good time and young people can listen to it, older adults can listen to it and people can just kind of resonate with the themes, you know, love, heartbreak, friendship and things like that, that will always be applicable to anybody. You know, when you guys reached out, it felt like out of the blue, like Claudia sent me the, the message and I was like, oh sure, like I'm super down, like of course. And then we come here and you know, this amazing space like hidden and you guys have just been also like helpful and you know, being who you guys are helps an artist be able to feel confident and safe and, and being able to Hey, can I ask for this? Hey, can I do that? Hey, can we move this? Hey, can we? sometimes, you know, as an artist, you go to these spaces where you don't feel so welcomed and you're kind of like, it, in, it, you know, makes you 
want to pull back on you and your performance. And I think that overall, it's just been, you know, perfect, perfect, perfect. So these guys were pretty good up until we did <laughs> What you don't know is that <laughs> this is take two now.